Hey YouTubers, what I've got for you today is a high-tech presentation as you can see. But I bought a Smith & Wesson 686 recently and was a bit dismayed to find out that I couldn't get a Blackhawk server holster for it. I did email them and they said they had no plans to make one anytime soon. I did find a Kydex holster in uh, Phobos. They had the standard paddle holster or the, uh, the roto paddle. I ended up just getting a, a standard one via mail order. But uh, I've taken a few pictures. I'm going to add a bit of sound to uh, run you through my solution to a, uh, a Black Hawk holster that's uh, built on a Phobos frame. These are the materials you'll need. You've got your Phobos holster there. At the top you can see uh, I've got a spacer with a quick disconnect set up and some Chicago screws and a bit of metal plate. That's 40 mils in width, 40 millimeters. You can work that out in Imperial. But uh, I just had that laying around the back shed. Uh, I was very lucky, as you'll see. But uh, if you can find something similar, you'll be in good shape. This is the standard panel holster. This is where I've cut away the, the paddle, uh, revealing the screws underneath. That will, uh, will come in very handy. This is just trimming the paddle away using a uh, Stanley knife, as we call them, or a uh, box cutter. But if you can trim right up to that metal bracing strap, um, that will lend us some support later on. It's a completed job. It's a bit dodgy, I guess. If you did a few more, you'd get better at it. But it's important to leave that metal strap there for uh, support for the holster. This is a metal strap that's uh, cut and bent down to size. I haven't cleaned it up yet. But as you can see, it fits very nicely between those two ridges in the reinforcing strap. I was very lucky this is pre-drilled and those two bottom holes actually line up perfectly with the uh, holes in the Phobos holster. They're not threaded but if you use the large Chicago screws and carefully ease them in with a bit of force from your screwdriver they fit beautifully. I just had to space one of them out a little bit because the screw was a little bit long. I didn't want it interfering with the pistol going into the holster. Here's the strap. I've just ground down the edges, smoothed it off, uh, sanded it down and that's just about ready to go. I also drilled out the middle rivet of the Phobos holster. Uh, that'll give us our third connection point and actually results in a pretty rigid connection. Now I've fitted the bottom two Chicago screws as mentioned and they are the large type. There's two uh, thread types in the Chicago screws with your black hawk, there's the thin ones and the thick ones. There's the uh, black hawk quick disconnect fitted. Just a couple of bolts I had laying around the shed that sandwiches through the quick disconnect, through your uh, spacer plate and through that metal strap. As you can see that's probably two millimeters in thickness. You don't want it any thinner than that. Uh, that gives good rigidity but it's not taking up a lot of space just a different angle and on this end one you can see the top screw that sandwiches through the holster through the metal plate and through the quick disconnect uh, I just used a, a nut and bolt that I had and just trimmed it down so it didn't obstruct the quick disconnect at the back but as you can see, that's a, a working solution. I've used it and it works great. And it lets me use all the Blackhawk gear that I love. Thanks for watching.